I'm still in Bangkok avoiding this winter chill in Shenzhen for a few weeks. Back in Shenzhen, I use Sony camcorders and the Rode Wireless Filmmaker Kit. You can see this setup in the early video I did about what equipment I use. That's all a little bulky for travel though. So I picked up the Severmonic Blink 500, a much smaller wireless microphone. I'm going to be testing how that works compared to a USB lavalier mic connected to my phone and the instant mic a standalone audio recording device I'm wearing right now. This video is being recorded with my Nubia Z20, which I also reviewed previously. It's a great bet for a low cost vlogging phone. The Instamic and the Blink 500 do different things, so this is not really a comparison. I'll just be showing you what they do and what don't do well. The Instamic is a standalone audio recorder that means you add its audio track to the video in post-production. The Blink 500 is a wireless microphone. It replaces your camera's built-in audio. This is much more convenient, but it also means fewer audio tracks during a shoot. And more tracks means more options for clear audio in post-production. Okay, let's unbox them and take a look. So what I have here is the USB microphone that a lot of vlogging blogger use. It's not an if or or situation because if you, you don't carry this, you always have this, right? So get one of this no matter what. Now I'm going to plug, in, plug it into my phone and record it and see uh, the quality of it. So voice recorder is recording. Hello, hello, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. No, there is a clip. You can also put it on your, um, you know, clip it on your shirt and then put the phone in your pocket. All right, now it's done. We, all right, not bad. So get one of this, it's cheap. The next, let's take a look, this two, this two, okay. This is what I use in Shenzhen. You see the, the camera, I put this on the camera and this is the transmitter. And this one, the Bling uh, K500 UZ receiver, you just plug it in to your phone. Let's open it. Now I'll take a look. Wow. Wow, it's tinier than, on, uh, than the pictures show on the box so this is their transmitter two of them and this is the receiver you can just plug into the phone ah and now it's blinking all right i'll test it outside so what is in here probably usb cable yeah right there are some usb cable in there i'm going to test it outside so i'm going to set it aside And this is the one I use in Shenzhen. This is the uh, Ceremonic Blink 500 receiver. Same, it's pretty small, this one. And it only have a clip not a uh, magnetic knife, the one, the instant mic. So I'm going to be using that to, to demo that to you later. Just be cable, right? The packaging is not bad and the quality feels good. Okay, this is the instant mic, just like the one I'm wearing. Let's open it. Oh, let's see what's in the box. So this is their uh, like a sock, socks you can put on the instant mic to change the color. Mine is the one I'm wearing right now is just black, but this one is white, I think. Oh. Wow. 
see it's the same size as my <laughs> other microphone the open source Creality Ender Free is under $200 and can print thousands of different standard pieces of photo gear, often in under an hour. It's a great investment for any photographer. So, right now I'm at uh, Nana, I'm going to Hooters to uh, have lunch. And I'm also wearing my Instamine, my uh, Sama, Sama Saramonic mic and my USB microphone, a lavalier microphone, and I'm recording three of them at the same time. I'm holding my phone on one hand and holding my gimbal on the other hand. Uh, it's pretty sunny outside. I don't know if this footage will come out um, okay because the sun is so harsh. Okay, right now it's better, it looks better. And you can hear the noise in the background, right? Because a lot of traffic, just a lot of traffic, a lot of cars, same. They have traffic light in this street, but... Uh, it's always an adventure to cross the road. Speaking of which, a car is in front of me and I hope it doesn't bump into me. Oh my God, so I, I came here so early. In the afternoon is still early. I like Hooters, like a lot. So right now I'm going in. So the background music is playing. I'm testing while talking. So I have the Sever uh Severmonic mic, instant mic, and my uh a USB microphone. Right now, the first test is for the Instamine. Um, I think I'm going to order something. I, uh, I feel like fried chicken again today. I forget what they serve here, nachos or something. All right, now switch to the Severmonic mic. Uh, what I'm seeing right now is salads, taco salad. I feel like I will pass that. Yeah. Uh, fry, French fries. What was that called? Tortillas with the meat on it? What was that? I forgot. Okay, now test for my USB microphone. Uh, there are some cocktails, shots, non-alcoholic. Um, I, I feel like having a beer right now. <laughs> alright, alright, right. I've moved hotel rooms since I started testing this. So we've got a bit of different background going here. General impressions. And again, this is not a comparison. The USB lav mic is a basic everyone should have. One mistake I made was I have the recording quality set a little lower than I should have. Make sure if you get one of these to check the settings on your phone and record at the best possible rate. The Blink 500. I shot a bit of video where the audio was intermittent. This turned out to be because I hadn't put the USB jack firmly in the phone. It's a good thing I have another audio channel recording or I would have lost the whole video. Definitely something to be careful of. A USB jack isn't an XLR jack and will have a higher failure rate, so keep an eye on it. Overall, the Blink 500 was very easy to set up and use. Very compact, no fiddling or weird button combinations. I love that I can use it with my phone or my camera. I love that there are two transmitters so I can interview people. I don't have the Rode Wireless Filmmaker kit with me, but it certainly seems to be comparable and with two transmitters, I can also record with one while charging the other. I'll test both the Rode and the Ceremonic when I'm back in Shenzhen, but I'm certainly leaning towards the Ceremonic Blink 500. The Instamic, this one is hard. I really hate it, but I also need it and use it constantly. I've had the Instamic for several months, and you may have seen it in a few of my videos. The size is perfect. The memory space is more than in love. The battery life has been sufficient and the audio quality quite good. 
but the firmware flashing procedure requires a long process where you have to register at their website first, download an app and a firmware file, and then flash the instant mic from your computer. You can just upgrade it over Bluetooth from the mobile app. You also can just drag the firmware file to the instant mic when you have it mounted on your computer as a drive. You have to use their Dodgy app. Even then, I could not get the firmware update to take. The Instamine mobile app is pretty good for changing settings over Bluetooth. No complaints there. I have some phone crashes and disconnects when trying to record audio with the Instamine while connected over Bluetooth to the app though. So it's really best for changing settings, not control or monitoring while you're shooting. The controls on the Instamic itself are a complete dumpster fire. They are so bad, I honestly was wondering if someone was playing a joke. It's been a long time since I've used a UI this bad. There are three LEDs that light up in encrypted combinations you are supposed to remember. It has a single button with no tactile feedback. No click when you press, no movement, no anything. You press it and wait to see if the press register. But it's a multi-mode button. And as we've discussed, multi-mode buttons are almost always bad designed. So you have to turn it on activate and deactivate with a series of long and short button presses which you will always forget because they're completely non-intuitive and you have a hundred other bad UIs in your life to keep track of. Then once it's been recording for a bit, all the lights go off and there's no way to know from looking at it if the battery died or if it's still recording. I would love something this size with just an on and off switch, nothing else. Turn the switch on, it's recording. You can see it's on and recording from the switch position. Flip the switch and it turns off. That's it, nice and simple. There's nothing the Bluetooth app does I can't live without for the sake of reliable, simple feel operation. You can be in the middle of a crowd, crowded street trying to remember what special combination of button presses we one specific product start recording. I don't have a crew, it's just me. I also need to maintain situational awareness and pay attention to what's going on around me. I don't need to be distracted by fiddly equipment. Last, the Instamai has this little clip and a magnet. It's really fragile, it's the only way to attach anything to the Instamic, and it's not compatible with any other photography group equipment. Hot shoot mounts, quarter, 20 frets, GoPro mounts. If you want to mount your Instamic to your gear, you're looking at zip ties and double stick tip. Unless you 3D print your own, right? Not so fast. After breaking two microphone, microphone clips, I asked them to send me the CAD file for the clip so I could just print my own and make adapters to standard photographer gear. They refused. This clip is not the body of the microphone. You cannot reverse engineer anything from it to knock off their product. The only reason to do this is if you know the clips break and want the consumer to keep buying replacements from you. That means you have no incentive to decide something that does not break because you're selling a consumable. It's a complex organic shape that would take me half a day to model in CAT. And frankly, with the way they're going, I'm not convinced they are going to be around long enough to make me investing that much of my time in their product worthwhile. The Instamine is a simple product a small audio recorder made overly complicated to justify charging a premium price. Personally, I would pay the same for it to have less features and more a reliable design. My feeling is probably somebody will make something simpler and better pretty soon. That being said, all my dislike for the Instamite design design, I use it all the time and I have not found anything better. 
having an extra audio track is cheap insurance on lots of videos. Some of my cameras don't have a microphone jack. I use the InstaMic with them. Yes, it's very poorly designed and the company does not seem to care about those design issues, but it's not easily replaceable yet. If I lose it tomorrow, I would buy a replacement. I would be screaming at myself the whole time. But it does pay for itself and it is a very useful product for vlogger. That said, it's not the first microphone I would buy. I would say first buy USB lap mic, then the small shotgun mic, then the wireless lap mic like the Blink 500, and then the instant mic. There we go. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for your patience while I'm in Bangkok waiting for the situation in China to improve. I'll be back there and back to doing DIY videos as soon as it's safe and practical. Until then, thanks for watching and remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.